everyone. Thanks for joining Nature Island Vegan. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos to all the folks that devoted to my channel. I appreciate every one of you. And today we're going on an exciting journey. I'm going to show you the ingredients that we're going to be using in our vegan zucchini lasagna. We're going to be using all these ingredients, mermites, and as you guys know that I am a devoted Trader Joe's and Whole Food shopper. All my ingredients I'm using is from Trader Joe's. Here, Trader Joe's coconut oil, and you can see everything. I won't be calling everything by name. And for our meat, we'll be using Trader Joe's tofu, baby bell, mushrooms, zucchini, or onion. Please guys, wash your vegetables before you use them. All right? Please, and wash you guys' hands. All right? You need to eat clean, you need to be eating healthy and control your salt and your sugar and your cholesterol. So that's why we are doing our vegan food so you all could do it right. Eat healthy, you do not have to show up to the doctor every five minutes. We're using one cup of cashew with one cup of water. We're gonna put this one cup of water to soak the cashew in. Here, my ingredients are from Trader Joe's today. I shop at Trader Joe's a lot and I shop at Whole Foods a lot. I also shop at Stop and Shop a lot in the vegan section. So these are my slice, my slice zucchini for the lasagna. These are the mushrooms chopped and this is the tofu and defrost it only once this time let it drain out and squeeze for 10 minutes i always give it 10 15 minutes i am going to chop up the tofu as fine as possible so when i put it on my skillet it's gonna come out like ground beef for the lasagna one cup of cashew nuts that have been soaking in one cup of water. A large pan. We're going to turn it on, on medium heat. Optional, you could also use, of your choice, either olive oil or avocado oil, which I get at Whole Foods. However, we're using coconut oil. Two teaspoons. We don't need too much. It's about this time we're gonna we are going to add our mushroom. Medium onion or one cup of onion. Our mixture of seasoning, vegan beef bouillon. tablespoon of smoked paprika put half now and then the other one you will put together with the tofu two tablespoons of nutritional yeast gonna put some now and some later add in your tofu One teaspoon of marmite, liquid amino, two tablespoons. Just about now, you can continue with the rest of the smoked paprika, the rest of the nutritional yeast.
two teaspoons of this brownie. You won't be putting any scotch bonnet in here. No scotch bonnet this time. A little bit more. Let's set our, our tofu aside. Grease, well, Paris leaf so it doesn't stick. Back to the story of Dominica. Today, as we're doing this, we're gonna talk about waterfalls. Not, not like don't go chasing waterfalls. In Dominica, you have to go chasing waterfalls. Dominica is known for having 12 waterfalls on the entire island. One of the best and wonderful waterfalls that we have on the island is called Trafalgar Falls. Trafalgar Falls is a twin fall that, ha that is an easy access to reach where you take a 20 minute drive from the capital city of Roseau to Trafalgar Falls. And guys, I am also putting ricotta cheese made from cashew. We have another waterfall in Dominica that is called the Syndicate Falls. Syndicate Falls is located on the northern part of Dominica. Syndicate Falls is in the area. It's also a Mont Trois excellent place for hiking, sporting the Cicero parrot, the national bird of Dominica. Alright, sauce in there. We also have another fall. Our third waterfall is called Sari Sari Falls. It is one of the most beautiful falls in Dominica, but the most challenging to reach. Next falls that we got, number four falls, is called Victoria Falls, like its cousin in Zimbabwe, Africa. It's another beauty to behold. The next fall that we have is the fifth one called the Emerald Pool. Emerald Pool is one of the most popular waterfalls in Dominica. It is near Spangli Falls and Jacko Falls. The next waterfall we have is waterfall number six, Spani Falls, which is easier to access The next fall that we have is Jacko Falls. Jacko Falls is another easier accessible waterfall near Spangli Falls. The next waterfall that we have is called Mid Lamb Falls. Midland Falls is waterfall number eight. Waterfall number eight on the list in Dominica is Midland Falls. Waterfall number nine is Wavin Cock Falls. Waterfall number 10 is Sultan Falls. Waterfall number Number 11 is called Tito Gorge Falls. Tito Gorge is one of the most popular natural attraction in Dominica. The next waterfall is called Secret Waterfalls or Cathedral Waterfall. It is not well known. Okay. Set our oven for 350. We place our vegan zucchini lasagna in there for 45 minutes to an hour. Lasagna is ready now. It took 40 minutes to bake. Putting it there to sit to cool down. 
it will be eaten tomorrow for lunch. We are now going to do our zucchini lasagna taste test. All right. Mm. naughty taste to it because of the cashew the cashew rogata cheese that I made using um, three ingredients cashew nutritional yeast and lemon juice oh, wow Happy I'm not sharing this right now <laughs> and then the tofu the ground tofu inside tastes like close to ground beef a little better because everything there is plant based so this right here is the cashew cheese or cashew rocata cheese vegan cheddar and vegan parmesan the crust on the top not too much salt because guess what brags the brag liquid amino and Nutritional yeast. See how it bursts out in flavor, bursts out in the mouth. For something that's plant based, short is good. The bits of meats is the mushroom and the tofu in there. 